Hey guys, just Gadamu here with another Gundam review, and today I'm reviewing the Fixed Figuration number 26, RX-78-2, slash RGM-79. And today we're just reviewing the RX-78, we'll review the GM next time. And uh, the Fixed Figuration are 1144 scale figures, pretty much the size of your standard model kit, that's 1144 scale. They're incredibly detailed, they are moderately durable. Though, you know, it's kind of hit and miss on them. They do come apart, as you can see here. But they don't come apart like the Mobile Soon Action figures where you can just swap parts and things like that. Uh, and yet they do. Because this guy comes apart and all these extra parts turn him into the GM Kai. Which the GM Kai shares the GM Command's backpack. So I'm totally going to be building a custom MSA out of this stuff. found these things are quite handy for resin casting. And so I'll actually be selling some of my fixed figurations once I've got some of the copies of the parts that I wanted from them for custom MSA. So I have this guy before us. He's beautiful. He's just full of detail, covered in little detail writing and things like that. The head is great. And this is the RX-78 Kai versus just the regular version. Major difference is these little divots in the skirt armor. Things there at the inside of the shoulders, back part, four boosters on the backpack. Kind of looks, resembles a GM, a GM, a GM custom from 0083 in many ways. So, very, very cool. Let's cover the articulation on this guy. Shoulders move like so. We have a very nice elbow. Hands are ball jointed. Our rifle is amazingly detailed. Head can look, can turn and look up and down. Beam sabers come out. We've got a ball jointed waist. Our cockpit doesn't open. That's a little bit sad, but okay. It comes with a couple different shields. Standard RX-78 shield here, and then we got more of a mass production GM shield there. I think there might have been a third shield, but I, I don't think so. Just probably remembering. Yep, there's only two shields. But uh, there's different attachments. This one is for fitting onto the arm. This one's for fitting onto the arm also. And it can also fit onto the backpack. Skirt armor has decent flexibility. Knee joint is pretty darn good. Foot does all kinds of crazy things. And that's because this guy is compatible with the G-armors that were released in this line. The boosters have little ball joints, which make them quite nice. It really is an amazing figure. It looks beautiful. If you're not for model kit building and just showing off an amazing beautiful figure, then the Fixed Figuration and the Xenography series are are right for you, because they they just look great. They really, really do. And this guy comes with several accessories, uh, a ton of hands, close fists, sword hands, gun hands. Comes with these really cool beam sabers. They look really nice. Fit in the hand quite quite easily. This is an alternate back piece for holding the bazooka. So our bazooka can fit in there. And of course the RX-78 needs two bazookas just so we can go to town and blow things up. This is a G-Armor connector part. Along with these things we've got a nice little stand which its feet can plug into. We also have a flying stand, which is pretty awesome. So there's a little hole down there. Very carefully. Take some work though. And you gotta be careful. Like these figures are sort of durable and sort of not durable. See, so you gotta be careful. So yeah, now he's flying. 
It's pretty neat. Uh, I really like the looks of this figure. I wish they'd made a mobile scene action figure of him. And uh, the GM, I think I'm going to like even more. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to like, favor, and subscribe as I post a new toy review just about every other day. And uh, make sure to follow me on Facebook so you can stay up to date with the various types of reviews I do. And my eBay store as well, where a lot of the reviews, the things I review, end up, including this guy. I'll see you guys later.